Hi everyone! So today I have another long canvas, not as long as the last one, but uh, it should be interesting. I want to go for a swipe, but not like you would imagine. I would usually swipe from there to there, but not today. Today I'm going to swipe from the this side and I think it's going to be interesting and I'm going to use my cake decorating tool to do so. Uh, cake decorating tools because I want to play with the tea thing. It's really cool and interesting and it really created nice patterns the last time I used it so I think it's going to look really cool uh, on a bigger piece. I mixed my paints the usual way. Not complicated. It's uh, for the heavy body paint, 50-50 paint and GAC 800 uh, as acrylic medium and then I add about 25% water and for the inks, uh, acrylic inks or high floor acrylics, whatever you prefer, I do one part ink to 10 part medium and I add about 5% water, not even, just a couple drops just to say because water is lighter in density and it might help the paint sell up. Um, and then there's a white here which is a mix of a titanium white and zinc white 50-50 because I like the heaviness of the zinc white pigment. It's heavy and really dense and the only thing I don't like about it is that is, it's transparent, it's not opaque. So, uh, I mix it with titanium white, which has an opaque pigment, but it's just not quite as dense as the zinc white. Um, why? Because the cells, when you swipe the white over the colors, are created by the density, the difference in density and viscosity in the paint. I do not put water in my white to keep it um, dense because I don't want to um, light in the density. I want the white to sink into the, uh, the other colors and push them up and create cells that way. I also do not put water in the white to um, have a paint that has a different viscosity and that way I should get cells. So. I will zoom you in and we'll get started with that. All right, so I'll start by a tin, tin, tin line of dioxazine purple across my canvas. I will put all the colors I've used in the description as usual. Alright, so I had to change my battery, so if the canvas changed, that's why, and I'm going to swipe.
So swiping with a small um, object is much more complicated than I um, imagine. It's not the same as just one big swipe, but it's still interesting. So now I'm going to get the teeth out and just have fun with it. Put them. There's some cool cells there. I'm just going to. And that is a lot more interesting. I like it better. So I'll give you a time lapse and we'll see how it changes. Alright, so um, not exactly what I ex expected, but still interesting. I knew from the get-go that my canvas was warped, uh, but I really didn't think it was that warped, because um, see how the paint is just dripping off there or here. So... <laughs> It's not quite the line, the, the straight lines that I wanted, but it gives you guys um, an idea of uh, the process here and the result that it can accomplish. Uh, and if you want to do it on a canvas that's not warped, uh, it would uh, work perfectly. I may uh, just try that again on a canvas that's not warped, maybe smaller. Um, I'm not sure why these canvas warps. Um, I'm a bit annoyed, really. Uh, it's the second one that does that to me. and The first one that I bought uh, weren't warped, but um, the two last ones that I had were, so Anyway, I like it anyway. I like this part that's a lot more blue. There's cells here and the lines are very subtle. I really like that part too. Uh, the middle part, uh, it's okay. Uh, it's going to dry metallic. The gold mixed a bit with the blue so it's going to look interesting. And I can't wait to see how it will look like. I'm just a bit bummed out that my lines keep going there, but it's okay. It still gives you guys uh, a good idea of what it could look like if you want to try it. And <laughs> make no mistake that I will try it again uh, on a smaller canvas um, probably later this week. I really like the style uh, with the lines and the teated thing, tool. Um, it's cool. I love it. I love uh, how they kind of uh, spread into the white as well, the lines. It's cool. So, that's about it. I'm a bit bummed out. I'm honest here. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. Um, crap happens, to say it politely. Um, just go with the flow, you know, <laughs> literally. So, yeah. Not super happy, but still some cool things here and some things that I will try again on a smaller canvas and that I think will be really, really cool. So, yeah. And we're back. It's still changing. Still cells popping up. I 
kind of cut the time lapse short when I noticed that my paint was uh, pretty much running off uh, at both hands. But uh, I really like this part here. There's still some things that I like about it. I like this part. I like the lines in the white. I think that uh, just a painting with a white backdrop and dipping my teeth in paint and just going across would be really cool. I would certainly um, be a different style, I guess. And uh, that's what I'm going to try next, I think. Just dip the tool in and move it across white paint. And because I really like the details uh, that it made in the white. It's really cool. It's um, it looks special. Uh, I don't know. I have uh, never really seen that in the flip painting, but so that's the idea that it gave me. I I will work with it. And so yeah. Even though it's a uh, Failure, well, no, happy little accident. <laughs> There's still some things to be learned from it, and that's why I think it's important that I share my uh, victories as well as my happy little accident. <laughs> and yeah, the lines in the white, really nice. This part, really nice. This year, not as much. This here, not as much, but that's okay. My canvas was warped to start with. I didn't think it was that warped. I shouldn't have used it for that, but um, oh well, it's done now. <laughs> so yeah, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!